guess he trusted us because of that or I guess because he's a nice guy, I don't know. So hello, welcome to the vlog. We are driving, we have been to Travnik to pick up some stickers and our passports and uh, yeah we're now going to find a um, violin maker so Rowan can look at violins and uh, yeah the weather's gone really weird just as we're coming out of Travnik um, it was raining really heavily and then it was snowing and raining really heavily together which was kind of an interesting combination so uh, yeah a bit of a wild one out here but we need some more snow so uh, that's good, happy, but at least back there, not so much now as we're going, but back there there was snow falling. I really like playing the violin, and I'm not like amazing at playing it at all, but I really like it, and I would like to have a better instrument, and obviously for that you need money and stuff, but at the moment we're not thinking about that part, we're just thinking about, dreaming about having a new instrument, and Bosnian maple wood is used to make the best violins in the world apparently, and uh, so it would be kind of cool to have a Bosnian maple wood violin that was made in Bosnia. And uh, there's, from what I can tell, there's three guys who make violins in Bosnia, three luthiers. And one of them is near to here, where we are now. So we thought, well, why not, like, just go and see what it's like, try them out. And uh, I don't know, I've never really played like a proper violin before. I've got a nice Chinese one. And, <laughs> I mean, I suppose I have played a proper violin, I played on my sister's one, but the other day I was practicing something and then I thought, I wonder what it sounds like if I play the same thing on my viola and it sounded so much nicer because that's made of like proper good wood and uh, the violin that I have is Chinese and kind of not proper good wood. So let's see what these violins are like and then, yeah. I recimo to iz toga iz ovog komada on se razreže ovako onda se lijepi i tu vam je zadnja ploča to je za zadnju ploču jedan kao i ovaj da, tako i gornja ploča oni sve mogu biti iz jednog komada a mogu se lijepiti iz dva so we're back in the combi we've spent the last hour or so in the little violin workshop which you can see a little bit of here a tone wood demonstration going on and a little bit of Rowan being the first person to play his violin which is a 7 8 size violin that this guy made malo osjetim ovako da bi da je malo, ali kad sviram ovako nije toliko veliki razlika, ali ovdje osjetim da je da je kraći kao I think it was a successful trip and Ron explained a little bit more about that Yeah, we went into his violin workshop and there are some violins hanging up on the wall, the ones that he's made and then there's like one that he's, couple that he's making on the bench and then like yeah different wood piles and things I don't know um but yeah never really been in a violin maker's workshop before so that was cool to see all that stuff he let me try the instruments that he had and it was kind of a bit scary because it was a very small room and there's like him and Matt and me in there and I'm quite shy about playing the violin in front of people anyway and that was a very small space and I felt a bit like oh I'm not good enough but anyway it was it was cool to try the instruments and he also explained to us loads of different stuff about how he makes violins and what uh, what different measurements there are and all stuff like that and some things that are kind of helpful for me as well like when kids buy a, a cheap violin that doesn't work quite right little things that you can do to make them work better so he was a really nice guy really friendly and helpful and then I asked him like how much do your violins cost and he told me and I was like well you know I don't have any money anyway but if I did like do you, do you let people um, like try the violins 
for a longer amount of time because I can't really tell from 10 minutes you know that much about the violin especially when I'm feeling shy in front of them so like you know, do you give violins to people to try and he was basically like which one do you want to take and I was like well I haven't got any money so I can't buy one from you and he was like I didn't take that I just said which one do you want to take I'm gonna go and get the case now and whilst I'm getting the case you decide which one you want to take so I was like okay and so I took one <laughs> and so I'm gonna try it for a while and then I don't know if I like it, I guess I'm going to find some money from somewhere or something, I don't know. Anyway, but it'll be interesting to try it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was kind of cool. And um, yeah, he knows quite a few people that we know um, in Yates and different musical people and stuff. And so I guess he trusted us because of that or just because he's a nice guy, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's it really. So... It's Saturday morning. This is sort of five or six days after we filmed the beginning bit of this vlog. We're in a spare room. Rowan's just had her violin group here um, practicing. And uh, this is the violin. Yeah, so I'm borrowing this violin. I've been playing it this week. Um, but now I need to play it and then play my own one straight afterwards to kind of see what's the difference and what I like about it and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's smaller than mine somehow, like thinner or something. And like this thing here falls off on this one because it's like too big for it, but it stays on mine. So that's interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, but it's, it's cool. That's it for this week's vlog. Rowan has an evaluation process to go through with this violin. Super grateful for the opportunity to borrow it and see, you know, what happens next in that story. You'll obviously get something on the vlog at some point as a follow up to this. So thanks very much for watching. Do give us a big thumbs up for trying violins and <laughs> do leave a comment or question if you want to know more. Do remember that together we do adventure. We'll see you next time.